Hi, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to go over some basics with Google Docs, in particular some of their slightly newer features, they've changed the interface on their sharing window, so I want to make sure we know how to get some images in there, get some text with hyperlinks, and that'll take care of that. So I've already logged into my Google Docs area, and I can click on Create New, and of course there's lots of things you can create with Google Documents, but I'm going to go to a straightforward document basic word processing here and I've started off with an untitled document I'll go ahead and give it a name and you can click on file and rename or you can just click in the name box and you can rename it up here enter a new name I'm gonna go ahead and call this uh, practice document click OK so now that's been named one of the you know one of the things I like the best is that this document's going to get saved pretty regularly. So saved seconds ago over here in the top right corner, my saved button has been changed. If I make a little, if I add some text to my document, I can hit save now, or I can just wait a second and it will save it for me automatically in just a moment. There we go, it's saved automatically. So that's pretty cool. Let's see, I'm going to go ahead and put in some straightforward text. I'll put in a uh, document title, and then I can just have some regular text. And let me just go ahead and copy and paste this a few times. There we go. So now we've got a whole bunch of text in here. And for my document title, I'm going to select that and I will format it as a heading one. Everything else I'll just keep as normal text. So document's looking pretty good. Well, a lot of these options are going to be really familiar to you already. There's nothing too unusual if you've been using document processing before. Uh, certainly insert. I can insert an image from this way. Notice there is now a little insert image button on the toolbar. So there's another technique. You know, I'm using the Google Chrome browser at the moment. And this works in Google Chrome and Google... Uh, I'm sorry, in Google Chrome and in Apple Safari, only those two browsers. But I have a photo on my desktop here. I can just take this photo and drag it right into my document. Okay, so I'll just put it right up here in front of the, uh, the, the first word in my normal text. Let go. Give it a second here. And that image was simply inserted right in there. So basically drag and drop image insertion. And then, of course, I can click on this image and I can change it's uh it's layout i can do fixed and i can kind of move it around to different spots and things like that so that was a really slick way that doesn't work in firefox and ie as of yet so let me go ahead and just uh, delete that image and i'll put this image in a slightly more regular way i'll go ahead and click on the insert image button and this image is actually on my desktop so i can choose choose file there it is ralph.jpg and now the image is inside of there and I can of course change its layout to a fixed and that'll you know have text wrap around it okay notice there's also some sizing handles there we go so the picture is a little weird looking that's from my webcam so okay so getting an image in there is pretty easily is pretty easily done alright uh, let's go ahead and make a hyperlink here so I'll just go ahead and select some regular text and click the little hyperlink chain link there and the text to display is regular text. The address that I want to go to is http colon slash www.cocc.edu. Sure, let's head over to the school website. Click OK. Now I've got a hyperlink in there. That's pretty easy to do. And the last thing I want to show you here is basically the sharing option. Okay, so I'm going to head over to share. And one of my favorite things to do with the document is to publish it to the web as a web page. So basically I can go to publish to the web hit start publishing click OK and basically now this document will be online and I'll even have a web address for it so I really like this idea if you have a resume you just want to get a resume out there in the web that's one way to go about it so that's kinda of neat let me go ahead and close that but let's say I want to give somebody else the ability to edit this document okay so let's see um, I've, I've actually got two Google accounts I'm gonna see if I can't demo this really easily I'm gonna go ahead and hit share and I'm going to go to my sharing settings. And right now, I'm the only one who has access to it, the owner. Okay, But I'm going to go ahead and add some people. And basically, you can just put in their Google name or their basically their email address. Okay, So I'm going to go ahead and put in Ralph Phillips 73 That's another Google account that I've got. I'm going to mark it as can edit. And I'm going to turn off the option here, send email notifications. I don't really need that myself okay and I'll click share and click OK 
So now we can see that this Ralph Phillips this is my main account here. I'm the owner of the document, but this other Ralph Phillips, who doesn't have a little avatar, uh, they can also edit it. So that's pretty neat. So let me go ahead and close that. All right, things are looking pretty good there. And just so you can see how this works, I'm going to go ahead and close out of this document, and then I'm going to sign out of my Google Docs. And I'm going to sign back in under a different name. There we go. So I'm over here in my all items, and look, there's my practice document. I didn't create this here. This was created over in that other Google account. So I can click on this now. I can open it up. I can say, okay, there's the document. I can make changes to it. I could go through and take some of this text, and I'll change it over to red and italics. So I've made some changes. Hit Save Now. There we go. So I've made some changes to that practice document. Now, check this out. Notice that, uh, okay, so the document title here is not in bold anymore. If I were to close out of this account and sign back in using my first account, I ought to have multiple Google accounts. Notice the document is in bold. This lets me know that somebody has made modifications to it, and I can even see who made those modifications. It was Ralph Phillips. That's my second account. So I've got Ralph as one account, Ralph Phillips is another account. And I can see that it was updated at 11.42 a.m. And although I can't really show this to you right now, you can actually be in a document along with one of your shared editors. And if they were to make changes, you could actually see those changes happening live. It's pretty slick. Okay, so that's basically, that's the trick there. It's making a Google document and sharing it with somebody else so that they have editing privileges. Really easy to do.